Welcome to the Soulscape Ride Guide. This video will teach you how to ride the Soulscape step by step. While riding the Soulscape may seem intimidating at first, if you practice the steps outlined in this video, you'll be amazed at how fun and easy riding the Soulscape can be. Remember to wear all of your safety gear and take your time getting comfortable with each step before moving on to the next. Step 1 Getting familiar with your Soulscape. Before attempting to ride your soul skate, take a minute to get familiar with it. You'll notice the two ends are quite different from one another. The end with two wheels is the front, and the other end, which has one centered wheel, is the rear of the soul skate. The raised black button in the middle of the deck is a roll restrictor. This roll restrictor button prevents the soul skate from rolling too far away from the rider and is engaged any time a foot is removed and no longer pressing the button. The raised platform above the rear wheel is a footrest, and is where to put the foot you push off with. Step 2. Foot Placement Set your sole skate on a smooth, flat, or slightly downhill surface free of rocks or debris. Like a skateboard, the sole skate can be propelled by standing on the deck with either foot and pushing off with the other. If you're unsure which foot to push off with, try both and stick with whichever feels more comfortable. Keeping one foot on the ground for stability, place and adjust your other foot on the deck. There are three things you want to keep in mind when selecting your foot placement on the deck. 1. Placing the ball of your foot over the steering axle between the two front wheels will result in greater steering control. 2. Your heel should press down on the roll restrictor button on the deck. 3. You want your foot aligned along the center of the sole skate deck so that you can rest your weight on the deck without tipping it to either direction. To find the centered position on the deck, simply rest a little weight on your deck foot to make sure it feels sturdy enough to step up before resting all of your weight on the sole skate. If you should find when you step up that the deck immediately tips to either side, simply step down, reposition your foot, and try again. Once you are confident that your front foot is in a good position, you're ready to ride. Step 3. Getting Started and Gaining Speed Getting started and gaining speed is easy once you have your front foot positioned properly on the sole skate deck. To start rolling, simply use your other foot, the foot that's on the ground for stability, to push off. To gain additional speed, just pedal with your back foot as you would on a skateboard. When not pedaling with your back foot, you can rest it on the rear foot rest. Step 4. Carving Once you are comfortable with riding the sole skate in a straight line, Carving is just a matter of leaning your weight. With your knee slightly bent and back foot on the rear foot rest for stability, lean the sole skate deck in the direction you want to turn. Hold this position until headed in your desired direction, and then simply level the deck out to travel in a straight line again. Step 5. Stopping. Stopping the sole skate is easy. Simply step off. By taking your foot off of the roll restrictor button on the deck, the roll restrictor will engage and should keep your sole skate from rolling too far away. Remember, while riding a sole skate may seem a little difficult at first, once you've learned, you won't believe how easy and fun riding one can be. For more sole skate videos, visit www.soulskate.com.